Hello, it's Bill the Biofeedback Guy. How are you today? So today we're going to go over a couple of uh, basic things about the Skio, and then we're going to uh, try and decipher some stress factors in a client from the matrix and risk profile. So after we've clicked on the desktop icon, we'll be at this page here. And so basically we just click continue. And then we see the pages, the page here with the password icon. And we click the password icon. And it'll talk about who the software is sold to. And then we add the password here. And once we've added the password, we click demographics. And then we fill in the SOC index. In this case, this is a returning client. So we're going to go down here and uh, click load from previous client page. And then we'll um, click the client's name here. And click previous patient. Save current client data. Okay, and then we see this box comes up. Has the client made any attempts to change his or her lifestyle? And so, if they have, you need to click accordingly and fill in the pertinent information. Box comes up, is this device for biofeedback? And then fill in the sock accordingly as the client has changed their lifestyle. And if not, move on to calibration. So after you filled in the sock index, you may come up with a box talking about a biorhythm concern. And you can go into biorhythms if you want. And we're going to go there. And we just click here on the top left start. And on the top right, address biorhythm concern. You can also go into medical astrology and Chinese astrology when you go into medical astrology you want to stimulate awareness of risks Chinese astrology Chinese astrology is not working. Anyway, we also want to make a report here and close. And we'll 
get some. Oh, here's this. Here's the Chinese astrology. Okay, so from here we're going to go down to the bottom left and close. And then we go to calibration. And I always go to computer risk field neutralization. And show and tune of harmonics. In this case, if I were in the client's home, I would click check for geopathic stress. And so just Theoretically, the software already checks for geopathic stress when we click the fast track calibration up here on the top right. Okay, so after the calibration, and we'll click OK to finish and close calibration and then we go to test and then we close this panel here and keep the last info report normally I would go ahead and retest but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you something that I found out. Um, it's always a good idea to go to power settings and activate quantum indeterminacy field. And scalar boost. As well as prayer wheel and shield from remote viewing or interference okay so basically what we're going to do is a little bit of analysis here so we see that the client is reacting high to how house dust also asbestos so asbestos in this case the client was working as a parking lot attendant and so asbestos is one of those things that we really can't avoid too much nowadays because wherever there's a road there's going to be asbestos there because the brakes on cars usually have asbestos in them so every time somebody steps on some brakes there's going to be a little asbestos dust in the air. The asbestos or a similar substance is in drywall. So if you have a hole in your drywall, we have drywall dust, things like that, insulation in your house. This could be related to the house dust as well. Uh, and so that's one thing that came up high there. Um, the client also comes up with a, sort of a TMJ symptom. And so TMJ could be related to sort of internal frustrations. We can tell the story of how we're powering the next phase in transportation. Will you guys help me? Okay, so... We have quite a few things here in the red, which are above 100, and we have 10 or 15 items up into the 200. 
and maybe four items in the 300 range. The 300 range is a high reactivity and that usually means there's an issue with that and the different pages have to be correlated to gather the, uh, the information that forms a typical um, theme in order to sort of tell if the high numbers are good or bad. So we're looking for the reoccurring theme to decipher exactly what these numbers mean, but basically high numbers are very suspect and things that you should look for reoccurring themes. So we also want to go to the bottom of this list. So we scroll to the bottom of this list. So the things are the top of this list. So the things on this side of the list are things that are sort of long term. The things on the bottom of this list in the red are sort of more things that are happening, happening temporarily. So a little bit, bit about me and I uh, studied to be a uh, medical laboratory uh, technician and could not work in the uh, treatment uh, field so I, I tried to go into the um, preventative field of healthcare. I started teaching yoga and um, self-defense and sort of got into that. And then I found um, this device, which was pretty unique. It didn't have to draw blood or do x-rays or anything like that. Although sometimes those things will um, uh, be pertinent. But uh, for me, I uh, became rebellious to the uh, treatment allopathic healthcare system and that's why I'm involved with the SKIO. I'm actually looking for a sponsor to upgrade into the the new Adductor. Um, so if you would like to sponsor me that would be helpful. Okay so now here we're at the low number end. These are the, the items that are long-term effects. So it looks like there's an endocrine issue here as well. And a selenium deficiency. And it's also showing TV epilepsy. So TV epilepsy. These are from frequencies in the brain, imponderables. So right here is something we should note because It is related to the other part of what I'm going to show you here. Okay, so this recklessness comes up. And so, and recklessness comes up from excess or suppression. Okay, and so that's the other end of that list. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, what I wanna show you is the risk profile.
Okay, so what we found is this actually looks different from what I recall going on before. Um, things may have changed. Uh, the client was thinking there was some virus going on. But what I figured was, see we had, last time we had radiation coming up as the top three. I'm not sure exactly why this has changed. Ideally I'd want to do another test on the client. But radiation was coming up as one of the top threes. And blood was the top. And I'm not sure what was next, but basically blood and radiation were in the top three. And so after a session, the client had called me up a week later saying they were uh, experiencing the same stress. And so uh, we talked for about an hour, an hour and a half. And what I found out was the radiation, which was second from the highest, was a major factor. She has three smart meters um, next to her bedroom on the external wall. And then also she has, and when she goes to her computer, to search for the whatever the internet Wi-Fi line. She has like several uh, internet Wi-Fi signals coming into her house. So it was one of those aha moments where both of our eyes opened and thought we'd found the cause, one of the major causes of stress. Uh, let's see, so we can also go into perverse energy and try and figure out what's going on there as well. So here we see the 60 hertz frequency is not really that high well actually it is it's in the 200 range so it's over 100 so that's something that I would normally just click on not sure why that's not working oh there it is so I would just click on that and then Basically what it will do is it'll bring it down to this box down here on the bottom and we always like uh, do the retrain uh, de-stress button here and so also so the color TV is 120 not bad but it is over 100 I would definitely go there okay so this lady uh, that we're this client here is uh, a mobile phone user quite a bit it's 274 so that's pretty high anything over 100 I want to deal with if possible okay so we see there and then basically I like to make reports so we let's click make report And so basically, one of the things that happened to me when I first started getting into this was I met this 
woman who said that by using certain products, her clients became healthier quicker and stayed healthier longer. And so the products that I'm talking about are the Geo Wellness products. The Geo Wellness products are basically products geared toward electropollution. They're geared toward reducing stress of electropollution. There are probably other ways, a lot easier ways. Okay, so here are some of the products that I make myself. Uh, there's actually no validation, no scientific validation on these. Um, basically, this is the four-sided pyramid. And from what I understand, the original, some of the original pyramids may be like uh, eight-sided uh, pyramids. Um, so, and then the other thing is, this is this is organized, what it is basically. And I've got a coil inside the pyramid. Ideally, I think this should be grounded. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been sort of on, in the process of dealing, doing some organite things um, as well as pyramid things. And then this is one of the one of the organite sort of whatever cloud busters that I make. This is uh, metal filings and crystals. And so these are some of the natural um, things that you can make easily enough. I'm not sure the exact validation of, you know, the effects of this, but uh, you know, these, these kinds of things may be something you may consider if you don't have any money to buy some of the Gia Wellness products uh, from the website. And so, but the Gia Wellness products are specifically geared toward reducing the stress effects of electromagnetic pollution and cell phone use, etc. They have the cell phone chips, they have the uh, jewelry you can wear to help reduce the uh, electromagnetic stress. And so basically there are two technologies in the GIA Wellness uh, products. Um, one is a, uh, a technology that allows your body to not recognize the electromagnetic magnetic stress as a, a threat. So it, it somehow masks the effect that your immune system has when it encounters electromagnetic pollution. Uh, the other technology that it has is the uh, earth frequency. So the the product has the earth frequency in it, so it has a little bit of a sort of a resonant frequency that helps to sort of ground you or, and keep you sort of at a normal uh, natural frequency. So that's a little bit about uh, electromagnetic pollution and the skio. Yes, I'm still using the, the old skio. And I'm looking for a sponsor. Uh, if you'd like to help me out, that would be greatly appreciated. And so from here, basically, we're going to just go through a short, short session. And uh, some of the other programs I like to go into is, of course, the electroacupuncture. Uh, they have the blood analysis. 
um, the dental. The uh, homeotherapeutic activation, the homotoxicology, the NLP, nutrition, short SAR codes, time therapies, spinal re, uh, spinal muscular re-education, and so those are some of my favorite programs I like to go into. Of course, they have the universal biofeedback as well. So thanks again for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me at healthsavers, the number four and the letter U, at gmail.com. Or give me a call, 707-445-1591. And we're Pacific Time 9 to 6. And so to close out, basically what we're going to do is check for current rectifications. And we see here we have some stress related to trauma, excess or deficiency, uh, organ balancing, uh, some blockages which may have been cleared through electroacupuncture. And so basically we just could rectify all. And once again, thanks for watching.